Will you pray with me? Gracious and wonderful Lord, how thankful we are that you make us smile. How blessed we are, O oh Lord, that you give us a reason to be thankful. So now, God, as we come and just spend a few moments about is there a witness in the house, let us remember that we can oh, 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 because you are so, so good. Amen. There's a saying that I think almost every church member I've probably heard one time or another. If I say God is good, you'll say? All the time. All the time. I'm a witness. witness. Y'all didn't know that part? Oh, see, you have not met Brother Joseph Awuzi. Brother Joseph Awuzi was the mission coordinator and he would say it every time when he got to the annual conference. He would say, God is good. The time, God is good. and then everyone knew to show their hand up and say, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Hallelujah, I'm a witness. Hallelujah. I'm a witness is a confession that we all make. I'm a witness is a testimony to the great things that our God has done. I'm a witness is the declaration of whatever God has done for me and for someone else. I have seen it with my eyes, and I'm a witness. And I tell you, just a number of days ago. It was amazing how I heard the mother of Ahmad Ambre. Wanda Cooper Jones says this, it's been a long fight, a hard fight, and God is good. On national television, she said for the whole world to hear, despite how hard it is, God is good. She talks about how I never thought I would see in 2020, but God is good. And then she progressed to thank all the people for the many ways they supported. But if you listen to her, she then said, but for those I prayed for us, I thank God for you. What a testimony to our world. How often do we as a church not say, I thank God in public on this final Sunday of our stewardship campaign and on the first Sunday of Advent and hallelujah for an amazing Youth Sunday, I ask, is there a witness in the house? Is there one that has experienced God's goodness in the midst of all that you've been going through? Is there one in spite of all the things that have happened that you know beyond a shadow of doubt that you're like Mother Wanda? I know God is good. No other one could have done this. Amen. Generally, this statement, I'm a witness, speaks to us personally about all the things we have experienced and seen with our own hands, how we have seen God heal people, how we've seen God bring justice, how we've seen God deliver, how we've seen God provide when we didn't know, how we saw it with our own eyes, how we felt it in our souls and the depths of our being that when we weren't sure where it was going to come from, we were convinced that somehow God was going to make it all right. And how we knew in our minds, no matter how much we worried and stressed, we knew one day soon God was going to do what God does best. Personally, we got a witness and we participated in it. But I want to tell you that your witness is good if you know it for yourself and have firsthand experience but your witness falls short if you don't tell somebody. Your witness does not make a difference until you tell somebody about how the Lord has been your strength and your song, how the Lord provided all that you needed and allowed you to worship in spirit and truth. How the Lord truly, truly helps you if you don't tell somebody. I think about the prophet Isaiah that says sing and shout. It's amazing to me how sometimes we don't like to shout until we're at a basketball game, a football game. We shout all the time, but when we come to the house of the Lord, we're afraid to shout, hallelujah. And then when someone says, well, who's God? Can someone stand up and give a testimony? Everyone sits down and holds their hands. But I ask, is there a witness in the house? Is there someone that's willing to tell about this good God and sing aloud and tell the world all that God has done for them and sing the praises to God unashamedly wherever you go? And I wonder, I wonder, I wonder 
If there were more witnesses in the world, if we would have all the ills and the troubles of society. I wonder if all the things that wrestle our hearts and our mind, if we would do as Brother Vinny talked about earlier, just tell somebody about the goodness and let someone else witness back to us, how much better our world will be. I hear Romans 4, 10, 14 saying, but how are they to call on the one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one whom they have not never heard? And how are they to hear without someone proclaiming to them, God is good, I'm a witness. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what makes our witness hesitate sometimes. I'm confused, I confess. I don't get it. If God has been so good and to me and to you, why don't you just tell everybody? Why don't you just share with the world how awesome our God is and what our God has done and what our God is doing even when you're not sure how it's gonna work out. I'm clear, I'm clear, I'm clear. I think that's why in 2008, the United Methodist Church General Board of Discipleship had to add witness as part of their vows. They recognized that somehow we were doing good with our prayers, even though we prayed in silence, that we would show up and do what we need to do, that we would offer maybe a portion instead of our tithes and our offering. But when it came to telling about the goodness of God, we fell short. And then we didn't realize that being our witness doesn't always have to be what we say, but it's how we live our lives. How we make a difference. I swear Brother Vinny took straight out my song when he talked about our reactions and our words and the way that we move and how we interact. All of that is part of our witness. And one of the things that we gotta be mindful of is, yes, we can smile and yes, we can give God thanks and we can talk about the light that shines, but our witness gets dulled the moment that we don't let the light of Christ shine through. But I'm convinced, I'm convinced in this dark world, there is a witness in the house, yes? And that there is somebody that's gonna help turn this mess around because they're going to confess among all the Gentiles. In case you don't know who a Gentile, say, I'm a Gentile. If you're not Jewish, you're a Gentile. And the Lord wants us to do this. So this morning, the call is really simple. If there's a witness in the house, that you will remember all the beautiful things that God has done for you, that you, when you come to worship, you will shout and sing in your own way, but you will make sure that you will go out into the world and let your light shine, that you will make sure that someone knows when they look at you, you're different because you're a Christian. That they will know that the light of Christ and the spirit of God is flowing through you because you have decided that you're gonna be a witness. In this next season of our church, as the denomination is worried about splitting and as people don't know what they're gonna do, I promise you, I promise you, God has not stopped being God. And I promise you that God still will show up with grace and mercy and all that we need so that we can be the people of God. And I promise you that if you will just continue to experience the ways that God is blessing you and tell somebody the church of Jesus Christ will never die. Because as long as Jesus is on the throne, and as long as you serve an awesome God, and as long as you let the Spirit of God flow through you and tell the world about that God, I promise you, the church won't die. Is there a witness in the house? If there's a witness in the house, make sure you get it right. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. I'm a Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all thought I was kidding. Uh-uh. We got babies in the house today. They worked real hard. And I'm mindful that their life was a testimony to the good things that God is already doing. So will you pray with me? Gracious and loving God, we pause in this moment to say thank you. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for being kind. Thank you for always providing. Thank you for seeing us and knowing us. Thank you for loving us when we were not always lovable. Thank you, oh Lord, for being that kind of Lord and Savior that will continue to bless our lives. 
As we come before you this day, oh Lord, we come yielding all that we are not, asking you, oh God, to fix it and mold it and shape it. We're asking that your Holy Spirit does what it always does best, that will move in our hearts and our minds and shape our words and our actions so that when we live in this world, our testimony will be that there is a good God who loves and forgives. As we gather before the throne of grace this day, oh God, we lay before you all those that are broken, whoever's hurt or crying, oh Lord, whoever's suffering, oh God, Please be there for them, oh God, use our hands and our lives so that we can testify and help make a difference in this world. We pray for all that have a need or lack, oh God, that you'll be Jehovah Jireh and provide so that as you bless their life, they become a witness to the goodness and the provision of God. And we pray, oh Lord, that as we continue to live our lives, that our lives will be a flexion of your glory and your grace. We bless you this day, especially for our children and for our youth. What a wonderful service they gave with their lives this day, oh God. I plead the blood of Jesus over every one of them, oh God, declaring in the name of Jesus that everything that you said there shall be, they will be. That you will order their steps every day of their life. That you'll put a hedge of protection around them, oh God, and that they will follow and listen to your voice alone. And as they grow up, oh God, they will boldly tell the world who their God is not just by their words, but by the way they live. So we thank you, Lord, for every child, not only those that belong to our church, but every child in the world, young and old, believing the same thing, oh God, that you are the keeper and the giver of their life and that their lives will be used in testimony to you. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your life. Thank you for blessing us and giving us eternal life. Thank you for the power of your spirit that allows us to do all things through you who give us strength. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.